Hi everyone, again it's me your math teacher Jello. For today's video, let's continue our discussion on how to solve logarithmic equations. Okay, this is actually part of our previous video. So we have here another three examples. Okay, without further ado, let's start. So number one, three logarithm of x with base three is equal to logarithm of 27 to the base three. Okay, so... Um, minention natin or nasabi ko sa previous video na kung kinakailangan natin gamitin yung different properties ng logarithm ay i-apply natin. Okay? So, here guys, i-apply natin yung very good the power property of logarithms kasi we have a numerical or a number here, no? Okay, so the 3 here becomes the exponent of this variable x. Okay? So, just copy the logarithm of x with base 3 okay do not forget and then yung 3 na to guys magiging exponent nito okay so eto na siya and then is equal to logarithm of 27 with base 3 okay so nasundan ba ako guys and then another so we have uh, logarithm of x cubed to the base 3 is equal to logarithm of 27 to the base 3. So, this time, so equal na sila guys, ito. So, ito equate naman natin. Okay, so we have x cubed is equal to 27. So, kapag um, same na sila guys, e the drop off natin or cancel out. Okay, so x cubed equals 27. So, guys, dito ang gagawin natin. Since so, uh, we are looking for the value of x, so take the cube root of both sides. Okay, kasi 3 to guys. Kaya take the cube root of both sides. Okay? Nasundan ba ako guys? Kung square yan, so square root of both sides. And then, makakancel out natin yan. Okay? So this becomes x is equal to, what is the cube root of 27? Which is 3, right? Kasi, guys, kung mapapansin natin, 3 times 3, times 3, okay, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is equal to 27. So, therefore, the cube root of 27 is 3, right? So, write x equals 3. So, your x is equal to 3. Nasundan ba ako guys? So, ganun lang kasimple. So, logarithm of negative numbers are not defined or undefined. So, therefore, x must be positive. Okay. Next example tayo, number 2. So, we have a 3 log and then with base x, 3 here minus 1 half. Okay, so log with base x tapos 9 equals 2. Okay? So, dito guys, um, we have 3 here, right? So, by applying the one of the properties, which is the power property of logarithms, so, ito magiging exponent nito, guys. So, let's copy. And then, 3. Ito yan, guys. And then, raise to cube. Minus. Ito, guys. Ganun din. Yung 1 half. Pagiging exponent nito. So, the logarithm of 9. Raise to 1 half. With base x. Do not forget. Equals 2. Okay. Okay. So, let's simplify. So, this becomes the logarithm of 27. How do we get 27? Because 3 cubed is equal to 27 with base x. Okay? And then minus the logarithm of 9 raised to 1 half. That is equal to 3. Right? And then how do we get 3 here? Because 9 raised to 1 half is similar to square root of 9. So, square root of 9 i 3, right? 
predict the positive uh, number only. And then write the uh, base x here equals 2. Okay. So guys, hanggat uh, maaari, uh, i-apply natin yung mga different properties of logarithms para masimplify. So this time, uh, naka-expanded form pa to, pwede natin gamitin yung very good. The quotient property of logarithms, right? Kasi, subtraction to. So, this becomes the logarithm of 27 over 3, right? Ito yun. This will be your numerator and denominator. Okay. And then with base x. Nasundan na ako guys. So, ganun lang ka simple at kadali yan. Equals 2. Okay. So, let's simplify again. So, this becomes the logarithm of 27 divided by 3. The answer is 9, right? And then with base x equals 2. Okay. So, this time, express in exponential form. So, x squared yan. So, x squared is equal to 9, right? Okay. So, x squared equals 9. Let's um, take the square root of both sides. Kasi we have 2 here. So, maka-cancel out natin yan. And then, square root ng 9. And then, what is the square root of 9? Which is positive and negative 3. But this time, we, re we rejected the negative uh, 3, right? Kasi dapat magiging positive yung x natin. So, therefore, our x is positive 3 only. Okay? Next, number 3. Okay, so we have the logarithm of x with base a equals 2 log 3 with base a plus the logarithm of 3 with base a. Okay? So, th this time, guys, we have a uh, quotient, uh, rather, power property of logarithms. Kasi we have numerical coefficient before log. Okay? So, copy nyo lang to, guys. The logarithm of x to the base a or with base a equals eto guys simplify natin yan let's apply the power property of logarithms so this becomes 3 squared okay and then plus copy the logarithm of 3 with base a and then copy nyo lang ulit yan the logarithm of x with base a equals so 3 squared Simplify natin guys. So this becomes the logarithm of 9 with base A plus the logarithm of 3 with base A. Okay? So let's apply another property of logarithms which is very good. The product property. No? Ito kasi yan guys. So we can express using... Um, product property for this uh, side. So, log x to the base a is now equal to log 9 times 3 with base a. Okay, nasundan ako guys. And then, simplify the logarithm of x with base a is equal to very good, the logarithm of 27 with base A. So, 9 times 3 equals 27. So, guys, kung mapapansin natin, equal na sila. So, this becomes x equals 27. So, guys, pagka ganito, magkapares na sila. Okay? Um, drop off na yan. Or, you omit na natin yon, And then, ito, bring down x equals 27. Okay, so this is the end of our video. I hope na meron kayong natutunan. Kindly like and share. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video. Bye-bye!